Are you a fan of crossword puzzles? I used to be. I haven't done one in a long time. Well, except for today, because I was thinking about today's episode of Life's Potluck Buffet. I'm John Pauls. Thanks for joining me. Today's large crossword puzzles that get published daily or weekly are not child's play, but but in the English language tradition of the crossword puzzle, they began as child's play. You see the first crossword puzzles, well, word crosses, as they were called, were in children's magazines, like Our Young Folks and the magazine St. Nicholas, which were, these were for children. And they were simple crossword Esque puzzles. That would be a good clue in a crossword. Crossword esque. Well, the final version of the kind of crosswords that we are familiar with today happened in the 19 teens and 1920s. In fact, apparently it became such a big fad that the New York Public Library was concerned that library users would not be able to access dictionaries because so many crossword puzzle solvers were showing up at the public libraries and hogging the dictionaries. I don't know why hogs get such a bad rap for being selfish. They probably aren't any more selfish than any other creature. Or, I mean, really, the humans were humaning the dictionaries. From my very brief YouTube explorations into the topic of crossword puzzles, the most famous crossword puzzle, the, apparently, is the, at least in English, is the November 5th, 1996 crossword puzzle. Why was this so clever? Well, its author, Jeremiah Farrell, I believe is his name, created a puzzle with two possible solutions based on well, for those of you in the United States listening, no, November 5th sounds like a, a day early in the month of November, and you probably don't need a crossword puzzle clue to get that answer. It's election day. It was election day, November 5th, 1996, the first Tuesday of November in the year 1996, which was a presidential election year. And, and the two major party candidates were Bill Clinton and Bob Dole. And so on the day of the election, the New York Times published its crossword puzzle that had two equally valid answers to 39 across. And the clue for 39 across was lead story in tomorrow's newspaper, exclamation point in parentheses, with 43 across. The answer to 43 across was elected. So reading across, it would either say Clinton elected or Bob Dole elected. So the puzzle had to be created so that both of those names would work because the New York Times in the morning of Tuesday, November 5th, 1996, had no idea if President Clinton would be reelected or if Bob Dole, the challenger, would win and become president. So that was the challenge. And the New York Times crossword puzzle team was up to it. Because you see, this meant that the clues for the words that would cross with the names Bob Dole and Clinton needed to be one clue with two possible answers. See, that was the, that's the hard part. You need, for example, 39 down. The clue was black Halloween animal. So the answers cat, the C in Clinton, and bat, the B in Bob Dole, both were possible answers. 
And this had to happen with each letter. So 40 down was French 101 word. So if your answer was Bob Dole, you wrote we. Oui. But if your answer were Clinton, you wrote lui. Like him or, you know, the pronoun. So that happened all the way across so that the names could be spelled out correctly and there didn't need to be multiple clues. This ingenious solution to writing a crossword puzzle in which the reader and puzzle doer, puzzler, were, were, was asked to predict the future and also led to believe that the crossword team at the New York Times had some insight into the future uh, and uh, is amazing. An amazing idea, amazingly executed. And still to this day, it is one of the most famous crossword puzzles and a lot of English language crossword puzzle people see it as the greatest crossword puzzle written for that reason. Because there have been a lot of crossword puzzles that purport to be impossible or the hardest crossword puzzle. But in the opinion of cruciverbalists, who, which is the official name for a person who creates crossword puzzles, the one that is the most challenging for the crossword puzzle creator is the greatest puzzle. I, that makes sense to me. And the person who, uh, I, who said this on the YouTube video was, in fact, or is, in fact, a crossword puzzle creator, compiler, maybe. That, for those people, this crossword puzzle really shows the skill of the crossword puzzle creators. I think cruciverbalist is a pretty good word for cross. I would, in my, in my crossword world, crossword puzzle, it would be staurologist, which is just the Greek version of cruciverbalist. And that would be my, that would be my version. So I, I'm just going to invent that right now for my own crossword puzzles is a stau, a staurologist. I feel like that has sounds a little bit more scientific than the cruciverbalist, doesn't it? Sounds more like a doctor, you know. Well, I'm a doctor of staurology. I, I'll use it in a sentence. Will Shorts is a doctor of staurology. So if Will Shorts is listening, just you know, get in touch, and I'll I'll get a I'll get a honorary doctoral certificate printed out for you, in as the inaugural doctor of staurology. If you're a modern Greek speaker and you're listening, I, I understand that it's Stavrolexo in modern Greek, but I, I kinda, I'm kind of going for a, a kind of different, different feel here, you know. All right, let's draw a couple of cards and see what our card going across is and our card going down. So I'll start with the down card, and I'll do my ritual chant, yellow lemons, uh, magenta noodles, blue dumplings, tell us some things. Okay, so here is our down clue, better not be passions over hobbies. Oh, no, it's card 19. So this is 19 down. It's only desperation if you have no actual strategy. So try to solve that for yourself today. It's only, that's the clue. It's only desperation if you have no actual strategy. I feel like the answer to that is everything. Okay, so that's 19 down. And now I'll have to do a quick uh, shuffle for the what's going to be the clue going across. And so I have to do yellow lemons, magenta noodles, blue dumplings, cards. Tell us some things. Okay. And here it is, this one right here. 
Consider one strength you have. That's 50 across. Consider one strength you have. Consider one strength you have. Okay, so 50 across. Write that strength down. It could be as many letters as you like. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time on Life Spotlight Buffet. (laughs) 